Level up, level up. Uh, uh, uh. Time to smash that like button. Okay, for real. Smash the like button. Hit the like button. Destroy the like button. All those lame things that YouTubers say. You guys got to do that because that's helping the smash. channel out. That's a smash. That's a smash. That's a splash the like button. Like button. Splash. <laughs> Hit that like button because it's really helping the channel out, guys. Thank you so much for everybody really that's, that's tuning in. Yes, we appreciate all the support. For real. Heck yeah. Roll that intro. All right, guys, back to Justin and Stacey's channel right here. Yeah. Oh, you wound up way too I'm, far I'm sorry, for I'm sorry, that, sorry, so I didn't want to make content. Yeah, all right. <laughs> okay, so today we're talking about five impossible things that could happen. I'm sorry. Five impossible <laughs> things that could happen on other planets. Oh, other planets. On other planets, not on this planet, on other planets. Because oh, okay. uh, apparently we know that information. Uh, apparently we shouldn't think that it can't happen on our planet. Whatever it is. <laughs> Let's check it out. There are some things that are just not possible on our planet. It would certainly be understandable that you would think that if it's impossible here on Earth, then it would be impossible everywhere else in the universe. But that's simply not the case, and the universe is far stranger than any of us can actually believe. Let's begin with shadows. Your shadow on Earth is always alone, and you're always used to seeing it this way as it follows you around during the day. You're also used to seeing everybody else with just one shadow, but this isn't a universal thing that would be experienced elsewhere. Elsewhere. You have one shadow because our primary light source on Earth is our sun, but what would happen if there were two suns? A planet that orbits two stars would look much like Tatooine from Star Wars, with two brilliant sunsets each day and oh, two shadows instead of one for each person. It used to only be science fiction until the planet Kepler-16b was discovered, which is a place that orbits two different stars. If you were suddenly teleported to the surface of the planet, you would likely die from the extreme temperatures and lack of air to breathe, but assuming that okay. you were teleported in a suit that could help you survive, then you would experience having two different shadows, a friend for your always lonely shadow that you experience on oh Earth. My gosh. Our next extremely bizarre place is a planet that is likely completely covered in water, an ocean planet named GJ1214b. The planet is several times larger than the Earth, which makes the Pacific Ocean on our planet seem like a puddle in comparison. <laughs> Even though water covers over 70% of the Earth's surface, water only accounts for 0.05% of the Earth's total mass. On GJ1214b, however, water may account for up to 10% of the planet's total mass, which means that the entire planet would be covered in an ocean hundreds of kilometers deep. Our own ocean goes down only a mere 11 kilometers, and we already have terrifying monsters like this, oh. and this, oh. or huge whales like this. So, one's imagination can run absolutely wild with what fantastical monsters could exist in an ocean that's over 10 times deeper than our own. Who knows what could be lurking there if you crash-landed your ship on the surface, but what is known is that at the very bottom of this massive ocean, hundreds of kilometers beneath the surface, the pressure would be so intense that the water at the bottom would be transformed into an exotic form of ice known as Ice 7. Mm -hmm. This ice wouldn't be like ice that you know on Earth. It wouldn't be cold at all, but would remain in a solid form. This doesn't happen naturally on Earth, but neither does our next bizarre example. Weather on Earth is often violent and unpredictable, but it's extremely tame compared to other places in the universe. Take the planet COROT7b, for example, where instead of raining water, it rains down rocks. Yeah, right. This is because half of the planet is scorching hot at 2,600 degrees Celsius, while the other half is far cooler at 177 degrees Celsius. The temperature on the hot side is enough to vaporize rocks, and just like how water will evaporate and condense into clouds on Earth, so too will rocks condense into rock clouds on this planet. These strange rock clouds will then that. rain liquid rock or magma back onto the surface, but since the atmosphere is cooler the further up it goes, and the temperature on the cool side is far lower, the magma rain will often harden into rocks before striking the ground. This planet seems like the closest rocks. place to hell that a place in the universe could get, but another planet has perhaps even more bizarre weather. This planet, known as HD 189773b, is located 63 light years away from us, <laughs> is a little larger than Jupiter, and looks stunningly beautiful from space, but that beauty is hiding a terrifying secret. It looks this way because the planet's atmosphere is made up primarily of silicate particles. 
winds on the planet can scream at 5,400 mm. miles per hour, equal to 2 away. kilometers every second, or 7 times the speed of sound. Temperatures can soar up to 930 degrees Celsius, but most terrifying of all is that the planet rains glass sideways in its extremely violent 2 <sighs> kilometer per second winds. This is so fast and scary that if a storm like that happened to appear on Earth, it would travel across the entire planet at the equator in just 5 hours and 33 minutes, and leave behind a shredded trail of glass. But even this storm pales in comparison to the mightiest wind so far known in our entire universe, the wind on the planet HD 189733b. This is a gas planet with one side always facing its star, where temperatures can reach a scorching 966 degrees Celsius. But the temperature on the dark side is still very hot at 688 degrees Celsius. So, how does the dark side remain so hot still? The answer is extremely, wickedly fast wind, possibly up to 22,000 miles per hour, equal to 10 kilometers per second, or nearly 29 times the speed of sound. For reference, the fastest ever recorded wind on the Earth happened during a tornado in Oklahoma back in 1999, and that was only 301 miles per hour, or 73 times less than the nightmare storm on this giant that's raging right now as you are watching this video. If you made yourself a kite and flew through the wind, then you could zip around the entire Earth in a mere one hour and eight minutes. So but perhaps the cool. most interesting place is somewhere that's much closer yes. to home, specifically this place called Titan, which is a moon of Saturn. It has I, such a thick atmosphere that, that we didn't even know what yeah. its surface looked like until 2005, which if you're curious, it looks like this. But Titan is a very bizarre place. It has an atmosphere, rivers, and lakes, and it even rains like on Earth. But the temperature is a bone-shattering negative 179 degrees Celsius, which is so cold that water is as hard as rocks, and the chemical methane exists in a liquid state. The clouds, rivers, and lakes on the moon are made of methane, which is the primary component of natural gas. Mm. Only 20% of Titan's surface has ever been mapped, but it is estimated that in that region alone, there is hundreds of times more natural gas and oil than is located on all of Earth. There is so well, there much go. gas on Titan that it literally rains it. It's an oil tycoon's dream, and maybe the best way to encourage space travel is to let a few countries know about Titan. But even more strained, you could actually theoretically fly on Titan. The atmosphere is thick enough and the gravity is weak enough that if you attached a pair of wings to your arms and made a running jump then you could actually flap around the moon like a bird, taking in all the alien sights of rivers and lakes. Of course you would need a suit to protect yourself, but still, you could fly just like in your dreams and achieve something that's impossible here on Earth. Mm. There are over 1,000 confirmed planets that have been discovered outside of our solar system so far, and you can learn about the most recent ones discovered by checking out this video from Second Thought Next, where he explains the possibility of life outside our solar system. Well, well, well. All right. So. Uh, you know, the real question I think with all of this is, how can we be sure? Yeah, and here's the question. Who's doing this research? We don't know, because <laughs> theoretically, now stay with me here, crew, I went to college. Stay, <laughs> stay with me here. Don't miss the if message. If I was a scientist, mm -hmm. a big, big time scientist, and I said something, like this, like, you know, there's a planet where you could fly because the gravity's so light, but you could never get there because you don't have the equipment. But uh, just trust me on my word here. Yeah. We did the research. If I say that, yep. you know, kind of like you guys got to go with it or say I'm lying, but yeah. that's theoretically what's happening here with all of these planets. We've mm -hmm. never seen them. We'll never go to them. Mm-hmm. But because somebody said they exist and that's what happens on it, then we're just like, oh shoot, well yeah. And like, then eventually it will get printed in a textbook and then, you know, mm -hmm. you'll be forced to pass a test on it. Yep. <laughs> and then it HB and you know, House Bill 2 or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Lord, <help laughs> anyway, guys, uh, question of the day, yeah. What would be the coolest planet to go to? I think it's the planet 
whatever those numbers were that you could fly around on the on the was it paraglider? Or yeah. Something like that? Um. Or the hang glider. Yeah, I feel like that one too. That would be so cool. The thing is, all of them. Yeah, I know, right? But then here's the thing. Oh wait, which one said something about flying around was, the earth in like an hour? I think, <laughs> I think it was that one. Was that one? Yeah. Is I that the same that. one that had the freaking glass? Yeah, you can miss me with that. Glass. Man, can you imagine running glass sideways, man? But yeah, I, that you honestly get... sounds like an attack in a like friggin' superhero movie. Yeah. Like someone's superpower to make it running yeah, glass. Yeah, like a Final <laughs> Destination kind of yeah. thing. Like, oh, um, you know, glass. Like, you, it is, you would just get turned into Swiss cheese. Like, yeah, it, Swiss cheese. You would just be like, ah, and it would just cut holes through you. That's but, true, though. That's true. It would be um, least desirable. The planet with all but, water. Maybe that has the Little Mermaid on it. Ooh, Look at this stuff. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just yes, go ahead. No, I'm not going to start singing. You guys but, are ready for that. It might have that underwater feel, like my King Trident and all that stuff down there. Right. People that have developed themselves to live underwater. See, it's cool to think about, but like you said, Who's going there? Who even knows if that's real? It could not be and real. And then, how are we gonna verify it? We're not, <laughs> we gotta take their word for it. But you know, the coolest thing is, we can use it in our imagination. <laughs> All right, guys, imagine this. 50,000 subscribers on the channel. Yep, that's the number we're shooting for right now. And then imagine after that, that, 100 and then higher. So we need your help. Yes, we do. Don't forget to subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up. Check us out. Come on, hang out with us. And tell a friend, okay? Don't come back to our next video without bringing a friend who subscribed, okay? Refer a friend here, all right? Because you know somebody out there that could use a good laugh at one of our several videos where we just laugh at stupid stuff, okay? <laughs> like the farting preacher. Yes. <laughs> you let if go! In, if you're into immature humor. <laughs> this is the place you wanna be. I don't know if that's be. a thing, but that we even got a category, like immature humor. Yeah. Where we laugh at stuff that's so silly. <laughs> Coming up, future ideas crew. Coming soon. All right, check in with us. Don't forget to connect with us below on social too. We always respond back to messages and stuff like yes, that. Yes, we so, do. You know, let Unless us know, you're guys. trying to sell us some kind of scam. I don't want any. <laughs> I feel like someone's trying to sell me something. Okay, guys, we're getting out of here. We'll see you next time.